Hello, my name's Matt. Hi, and my name's Jordan, and this is Cops and Robbers 2.0, which is sort of a visual update more than a, a new map and so and so. Yeah, um, it's been out for like a week or so now. Three weeks. Yeah, we just didn't really bother making a video. Oh, on this it. one, sorry. Yeah, this one's been out for about a few days. Yeah, yeah, we just we didn't really bother making a video on it. We just sort of updated it and tweeted about it because it was mainly like a visual upgrade. As you can see, it was mossy and stuff. But there were a few places added in. Um, we got a comment that's on the screen now. Um, asking what like the new places are and if he's missed anywhere. And there are a few secret areas, so we thought. Yeah, we'd well, we thought this. from that video there might be other people. Comments, sorry, there, there might be other people that want to, uh, you know, sort of know. So we'll make a little video on it. Yeah. Give the whereabouts of everything. Yeah, so you can see the start here. We left this pretty much unchanged. Just had a load of like vines and. There wasn't really much need in changing it because it worked really well. You can. It, it needs to be simple so you can, you know, yeah, if you're much, a cop. Yeah. I mean, you're a robber after all. You don't. Want a, a luxury place to live? Yeah, in. well, you do want it. But well, yeah, we're not yeah. There. we get what you mean. Yeah. So the corridor, um, it's just a visual upgrade. It used it? to just be just a flat line that went all the way down, and you know, yeah, yeah. just not very nice looking. But now it looks a bit more be run down. A bit better. And... Yeah. Um, I don't know why I put blood in the bathroom. Because I mean, the in showers. the showers, people get up to things in prison, <laughs> and you know, I thought it was relevant. All so... right, well, fair enough. And then we made it. <laughs> quartz and yeah quartz and all that i mean uh, it looks much better than the last one and yeah. not really that much was done to it uh, we'll come to that in a second in here pretty much unchanged it was yeah a nice, nice room i liked it as well yeah <laughs> coming down here um the basically there are four major changes aside from the visual upgrade um oh um the storage room i'm just going to quickly pop in here now we realised that basically what we're going to do is this was going to be a parkour way to get out. I up at this think crack. I finished it this time. Yeah, you did, yeah. Um, but we forgot about that the first time. We didn't realise, so we've added that in now. So it's possible to parkour up here to, oops, to get up to the top. That's another way of doing it. So that's a good way. But don't get stuck here because it's hard. To, well, it's not hard to get out. You can just do that, come to think of it. But, you know, that's that. That was, uh, that was a bug fix, I'd say. That was a fix. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, what we'd class as a bug fix that's uh, according to Minecraft. Yeah. Um, this is a new area, we'll come back to that. Or just how about a derp? <laughs> yeah, derp yeah. Moment. We'll go with that. Um, in solitary, this f um, hopper didn't point to the chest, so that didn't work. So you couldn't disable the warden's alarm, which you can actually do now. If you chuck an item in all four of the hoppers, it turns off the alarm. Yeah, yeah, one of them wasn't working apparently. Yeah, so that's that fix. Oops. Don't ask us why the solitary toilets disable the alarm, we've no idea. Um the sewer supply um, goes over the electricity and it clogged up and explodes and blocked the... Um, and all the this poo just flew everywhere and it was just... It was a nightmare. I had to clean yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Friggin' hell. <laughs> and one other small change is in the warden's office. This was initially a sort of way of to trap a player. So to get there, you had to have two people to help you get out. But that became like more of a nuisance than a way to get it. So there's, a, there's now a pressure plate on the inside so you can get out as well. It, the, ward, the alarm still goes off so the warden knows you're there. So, you know, unless you disable it, of course. But to the new places, there's... There's only three. Well, there's four new places. Um, I say we start here and work our way along. Yeah, we might as well. And then, and then from there we can go round because it's cool. Yeah. So every prison has a prison library. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! What? We'd start here, wouldn't we? Oh, okay. No, I yeah. See. Work our way along the corridor. You see? Yeah, I see. Well, my yeah. idea was different, but I won't tell you until we get to the point. Ah, right, okay. So George decorated this room, and then I added this bit up here. You may notice a wooden button. It's My pretty cool. Yay. It's hard. It's hard to see, and the redstone behind this is so simple. I couldn't even believe it. It's sweet. Um, if you press that, there's a hidden doorway here behind it. So if you want to come through, George. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know why we wanted to add a library, really, because it is a prison after all. But you know, it just, it just looks cool. It was a nice big building. Yeah. And what this does it. is it opens up the roof as well. Um, you can't get out, as far as we're aware. There's no way of jumping over these fences. And the only way of getting round would have been up here, but that's why these are on the sides. Unless you get on top of this part, same deal again. Up here, same deal again. It's just, if you're cornered by the cop, then you you know you want an extra way out. And also, it gets you across the uh, prison. Which, yeah, it's like, yeah, like Matt the, said, it opens it up. It's, yeah, it's the, li good. the library's at one end, and the yard's on the other end. Um, so And then you can just drop down here. So that's where that goes, for anyone wondering. It's a one-way like way down. And yeah, that's where that goes. This sort of actually brings us on. Oh, I see where you might you mean start at the sumo room now. Yeah. Because we've skipped it out. Poor eh? oh, effort. Clever, clever. Well, okay, you know so me. yeah, we'll explain. <laughs> we'll explain this now. This was here in the first map. This was sort of the yard because it, we made it on the roof rather than outside because yeah. Um, but the problem with this was is that for the cop to let you go here, it required you to go upstairs. 
So it let the, it, it would make mean the cop would have to let you go up there. And of course, if you get let up there, you're going to run off. So no one ever let you go up here. Yeah, it's too big of an area. It wasn't. It wasn't. Sup- yeah, I don't yeah. know. I can't it, think. Of the it word. was. It was way too risky. It was too risky for yeah, the cop to take them. Yeah, it wasn't worth there. it. Yeah. It's easier to take them to the mess hall or the showers or something like that. So now there's a door where that used to be with a lever on the other side. So if you get upstairs, you can unlock that door. We meaning you can escape through the yard now. But that's only after you've got upstairs to begin with. So you know that's that's that, that's pretty cool. And now in the new way you get up it is this um, staircase, which you saw here. It makes the yard nice and easy to access because it's right next to the mess hall. It's just literally up the stairs. There's not really anywhere they can go except. Hey, for Matt, up come here. up to the very, very top of the tower. Oh yeah. I added some hilarious signs while we were building. Yeah. Nothing is down here. Go back to go back down the ladder now. With no, a it's shot. this way around. No. It's this way around. It's this way around. Of course. Oh, it's just too fun. <laughs> it's all fun and games until you get shot thirty times. With a shotgun at point blank with explosive rounds. Yeah. I would have preferred like a really long uh, wall. I personally loads would have made that, I personally would have made that go clockwise. Oh, no, I'm actually, so sorry. Actually, actually, no, you're moving clockwise. But you know what I mean. Go around, Dante. No, I don't, I don't know what you mean, to be honest. Okay, so well, I'm just screw you. Just okay, on to, the next, on to the next place. Round here. I see why you said we should have started here now. Yeah, this new area. Um, it's, yeah, it's not really got anything new to it. It's, it's just the... Sumo room. It is just an arena. Basically, um, we got requests to create sort of an area where you could go with the cop and then they just stand guard and you just fight each other. And it just adds for a little bit of fun because you couldn't really do anything beforehand. And it's just a dedicated punching zone. (laughs) And um, if you watch our video with uh, Sky and the crew, um, you know, we used that, I think. Yeah, we did, yeah. And yeah, I had to batten people away and things. It was quite fun. So, yeah. And hold somebody in the corner, but we won't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, then there's one more place, which is at the very end when you escape. My so, build. Running along here. Might hate it at first, but... I, yeah. that's, that's still not that keen on it, really. Jordan added it. When you get to the back exit, you have to go through a maze. Now, it's not really much of a maze. When, when you like take the roof off it, it's just a glorified path with a few extra dead ends coming well, off it. Well, I'll explain the reason for... No, it's co- it. I'd much rather it be like that. Okay. But I don't really like the idea that there's a maze at the end. I think it's a bit rubbish. Well, no, the reason there's a maze at the end is because you you sort of want more time to be able to be caught before you get out because it is sort of like while you're inside the prison, you can get to everywhere without the cop getting to you because it's so easy to turn everything off, in my opinion. It's, it's less people role play rather than just go, quick, let's get out. So by the very end of it, to have a, a maze, even if you know it, slows you down. Yeah, that's and true. it's just it's just a better way out. It's like prison escape rather than like uh, just congratulations, you got out of the prison at the end. It's like yeah. oh no, we better get through here, and then you know it's just good. Yeah, I mean, I see why you did it. It, it is a good ending, I suppose. Yeah, but... every every map ends gr- with a great maze. Yeah, but that's... oh, hang on, there's also this other thing I, f- I forgot to mention. It was in the first episode, in the first version of it, but. If you come upstairs, George, like to where the iron door is at the me- in the yard. Okay, yeah. Where are you? I'm coming now, it doesn't matter. Alright. Basically this was in the first one, but I don't think anyone actually ever spotted it. Basically you, everyone knows you need to you need to be game mode zero to get up there to get out. I'll but I'll go do it. You, you don't have to. You well I want to show it first. Round here there's actually a pressure plate that you can stand on, so go on, George, if you want to get on that. <coughs> what that does is that just extends a block out here so that anyone who's not game mode to if you, if you then get into the warden's room, you can just get out. It also opens the door as well. So it's almost like a uh, go on without me sort yeah, of a pretty much yeah sort of thing, <laughs> which is always you know you know who your bros are if they let you out of prison. Yeah, so it's all good. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. That covers all the new stuff. Like we said, it was just it's mainly just the visual change and adding a few extra places to spice it up a bit. Yeah, should have been one point two, but. Yeah, yeah, but we didn't think that that would have been like such a good name for it. Like, yeah. oh, Cops and Robbers 1.0, yeah. or 1.1 1. 1 or something like that. Yeah, it's just not as good. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to be making a 3.0, and if we are, it's going to be for ages from now. Yeah. We'll let everyone else take it from here. Yeah, there are a few other versions that I've seen that are pretty cool, actually. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do what you want. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, have you got anything else to say, George? Yeah. I'll see you next week.